this is just the first one, so from green, so we're going to go up over this, probably over this reef system, just over there, between these reefs here, and we go up. So in 2013, myself and some friends, we crossed the Torres Strait by kite surfing and raised money from the McGrath Foundation. And flying over the reef on the way back, we thought, wow, this is absolutely incredible, and we've got to kite surf this. And this time we're doing it to raise money for motor neuron disease research. So motor neuron disease is a disease with no cure or treatment and very little understanding of the biology. And so my work is, as a research scientist is to try to understand motor neuron disease and find a cure for it. So I've combined my two passions, kite surfing and the work that I do, to try and bring this thing together to raise funds for motor neuron disease research. It's a really, really hard journey. We're doing 10 hours a day, every day. Really hard on the body and the mind just to keep going. But our motivation and what really drives us on is raising this money for motor neuron disease. So the journey we're going to do now is nothing compared to what patients and their carers and families have to go through knowing that there's no cure or effective treatment. This was an incredible project going on and when I kind of heard about it and saw these guys and how much passion and commitment they had to not only the cause but to pushing themselves through every wall that they're going to encounter, it inspired me to, to jump on board and see if I had what it takes to, to kite the reef. This is going to be an incredibly hard mission and really the only thing that's going to get us through is just thinking about everyone else who can't do it and hopefully we can, can push through it just knowing that we can do it for everyone who can't. I mean the enjoyment on this trip isn't going to be stopping, looking around and sightseeing but actually just covering as much ground as we can, pushing through and, and seeing everything at a glance, you know. Being able to see the whole entire reef at once will be will be an experience of, it, of its own. To break the record would be quite a feat. I'd be really proud if everyone could do it. And you know, all we can do is give our best shot and see what happens. To get the official Guinness World Record, there's a huge amount of rules that we have to follow. So we're gonna be filming every 20 minutes, kind of like the track. We have our GPS trackers that are gonna show our continuous track from start to finish. We have to film every time we start, every time we stop, and kind of the list goes on. but. I think it's all things that we can do and everything we've planned for and the goal is achievable in my eyes, so hopefully we can do it. We've trained really hard, we've got a very solid team, we've got some professional kiters and all of us are very experienced kiters um, and the few days we've already spent together and in the months leading up to this, we're, we're good mates as well, um, so I think we're going to sort of get each, each other through it. Um, everyone's sort of very motivating and, and I, I think we will. I think we all have personal um, reasons and connections to motor neuron disease and I for one have, have good friends and, and whatnot who have passed away and who are currently um, suffering from motor neuron disease so I'll definitely be thinking of them to push me through the end. I mean people go up and down Everest you know 20 times a week, um, people are doing 100k bike rides all over the place but I mean no one has ever done a thousand kilometres kite surfing and Certainly no one's ever kite surfed for most of the barrier reef that we're going to be. Yeah, it is pretty daunting. I'm uh, mostly just very, very nervous about the physical exertion that we're going to be going through. Um, and everyone's going to be absolutely exhausted. And then, you know, following from that, people start making mistakes. Um, and you get quite a lot of emotional turmoil in a team. Um, so I think, you know, there's lots of kind of fun and more notable um, risks around sharks and things like that but I think that the more practical real risk is just fatigue because this is a really really uh, you know solid event we're going to be kite surfing at least seven up to ten hours per day for ten days um, so it's like doing back-to-back -back marathons but in the water with all the complexities that go with kite surfing. The average MND patient has 830 days to live after diagnosis and we have to do 830 kilometers to break the world record so there's a there's some symmetry there and you know I think that that inspiration for us we, we breaking the world record is going to be symbol, symbolic um, in I think and, and symbiotic we're trying to find a cure for MMD and so I think when times get tough and they will get tough and we're going to have to kind of dig in deep then I think um, that knowledge that there's people at home and those sufferers who are kind of counting on us um, to do it is is really gonna really gonna push us on.
Um, I think I think I can go. Yeah. Yeah. Okay.